Have you ever wanted to make a quick and easy loaf of bread and didn't want to take tons of time with the kneading and the mixing process? Try making it in a food processor. You can get bread dough made in minutes. All you have to do is give it a little bit more rising time and you will have a fantastic loaf of bread. So today we're going to be using the Breville food processor to make a simple white sandwich bread. It's absolutely fantastic. So join me. Let's use a food processor to make some bread. Okay, we're going to be using a large food processor. So you want something that's robust, has a lot of power and won't break because making dough is very violent for a food processor. I'm using the Breville sous chef. This is a big robust um, food processor that can handle this. So I will have the recipe for this down in the description um, so you can print it out. It's out on my website. So we're going to take the flour, that's three cups. I have a little bit to spare because you always need to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to put our uh, sugar in here. I'm going to put some salt in here. I'm going to put our lid on. Plug this baby in. So before I mention, I have on the plastic blade. Now some food processors, they don't recommend you use the plastic blade. They, they want you to use the chopping blade. It really depends on your food processor. This one is robust enough that I can use the plastic blade for bread. Miss Amy, you added salt with your sugar to the flour at the start, as opposed to letting it proof without the salt, which is a yeast killer. Why is that? Okay, so in this instance, I'm going to be putting my yeast in the water here. So I have my yeast. You can put a little bit of the sugar in there. The thing is, I'm using instant yeast. So this yeast will take off all by itself. It doesn't need help from too much of anything. Um, this is saff, and it has known to pretty much blow up the place, right? Um, ordinarily, I would say you want to separate the salt and the yeast, but because I'm dissolving it here in the water, I have a cup of water and a teaspoon and a half of the salve. Um, We're going to be okay. I'm also going to put in some olive oil. The recipe is in, on my website, right? I'm going to close the lid up. I have the dry ingredients here in the food processor and we're just going to pulse, pulse, pulse to mix this up before we put the water in there. I'm just going to take this little paddle, go around here to knock it down so we're ready for our liquid ingredients. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to pour the liquid in through the little chute here. And what's going to happen is it's going to be a little shaggy for a minute and it's eventually going to come into the form of a ball. about a minute or two 
and we will have some bread dough. the lid off. We have a ball of dough. Let me go grab a board. So I'm going to put a little bit of flour in my on my board. The dough is pretty hydrated. Um, so you ask, is it a perfectly kneaded ball of dough? No. Is it a ball of dough like you got out of a stand mixer that's been meeting in there for 10, 15 minutes. No. Is it like a fully developed hand kneaded ball of dough? No. This is a quickie loaf of bread that's going to do a lot of its developing as it rise. It's similar to like a no knead bread. You can take this, put it in the refrigerator and bake it off tomorrow let it rise all night in the refrigerator. We're gonna do like two 45 minute rises. We're gonna let it rise, uh, punch it down, and then shape it and let it rise again. So let me go get a bowl so we can uh, put it in there for the first rise. So I have a bowl here. I'm just gonna spray this with a little olive oil spray. We're gonna take our ball of dough. We're gonna put it smooth side down. We're gonna flip it so it's coated. I'm going to throw a towel over it and we're going to let it rise till double in size about 45 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes and I'm going to put a little bit more flour on here, not too much, a little dusting. And I'm going to go ahead and get this dough out of here. Get you one of these little scrapers. Makes getting moving dough around easy. Easy! So, the whole point of this is to not spend like a lot of time kneading, right? I don't want to do this. This is a quick and easy white sandwich bread. And it makes, you know, kind of a small size loaf. It's only three cups of flour. I wouldn't put too much more than that in a food processor. So if you want more dough, it only took a minute or so for that to run. So run two batches, combine them together and put or make two loaves out of it. But we're just gonna flatten this baby out. It's looking pretty good. You like that though? Sure. I'm gonna bake it on a baking sheet. You can put it in a loaf pan. I'm gonna do it like free form style, kind of like a um, loaf of French bread. I'm just going to roll it up like this. I'm going to pinch this back edge like this. Hmm. Get it closed. I'm just going to finish the edge a little bit like that. I kind of want a little bit of a square edge on it. Pinch it a little bit, tuck it under. Sort of have like a loaf of French bread here. I'm gonna move it onto here. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put a towel on it. I'll be back in another 45 minutes. Okay, so our bread has risen a little bit. I'm going to slash it. Um, you don't have to do that. It does open the bread up a little bit as it's, as, it, as it's expanding. Um, so I'll probably make four slashes. You want a really sharp knife. I'm using a Rada tomato knife. 
You can get a razor blade, um, and there's a tool basically made for this. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do it at slight, very slight angle, and we're going to do it this way. So I'm going to go, you don't want to collapse the bread when you do this. Some people can just go boom, 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 and they've cut it real fast. I guess I'm going to get five slashes in here. Now I have a little egg wash. I have an egg with a little bit of water in here. I'm going to go ahead and beat this up. This is going to give us a nice shiny exterior. We did a video on the difference between butter and egg wash and a plain bread. So I'll put a link up here and down there to that video so you can check out what happens when you do each type of treatment. So our oven's ready. I have it at 350. And we're just going to give it a little egg wash. You want to do it gently. You want to get it down the sides. Sometimes I don't get it on the sides and then it has like a shiny, not shiny, sort of drippy look to it. Well, that happens to me a lot when I do this. So we're just going to cover it as best we can. This is going to give us a nice oven spring with that instant yeast. So this doesn't make a huge loaf of bread. I mean, like I said, you'd have to run two batches. You don't want to wear your food processor out um, making bread. Because like I said, this is sort of like a, a bread you would make quickly. You know, you don't want to spend a lot of time. You don't have a lot of time. You could just spend a couple minutes, process it up, and most of the time it's just resting. So I'm going to put this in the oven. It's going to take about 30 minutes. You'll know it's done. It'll be nice and golden brown. When you flick the bottom side, you'll get a hollow sound. Also, you can put a thermometer in here and temp it to at least like 190, 200, and it will be done. So we'll be back. Okay, so the bread is out of the oven, and here we go. A little crackly on top, which is kind of nice. Uh, looking good on the side. So guys, this was made in the Breville food processor. Food processor bread. So we're gonna let this cool down a little bit and then we'll take a little taste. I know it's gonna be fantastic. So um, we'll be back. Okay, let's cut some bread and have us a little piece. Ooh. Ooh, 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 look at that. It's kind of crusty on the outside a little bit, nice and soft in the middle. I like it. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Nice crumb. Nice bread. Not bad for like two minutes worth of work. <laughs> We made this bread a few times. It's really good. I like it. Mm. 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 It's nice and soft on the inside. Slightly crispy on the outside. Really, really good. One piece, Bill? Maybe. Yeah, yeah I'll take you, Bill. Mm. Little bread for the mouse. Mmm. Snatch it. Mmm. <laughs> I give my two thumbs up. Yeah, it's good. Um, of course you're not gonna get the need out of a food processor that you would out of a big mixer. You wouldn't get the same need that you get out of a um uh, out of a hand knead. But this is kind of like a no-knead bread. Literally, 
it it needed for one minute in a food processor and Sack. and I didn't need it at all. All I did was flatten it out and roll it out. I got the air out of it. So the gluten had a party, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it ain't bad for bread that doesn't take any work. Hmm. You want another piece? Yeah, I need a refill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so if you have a big food processor like your Breville, give it a try. I used the plastic blade. Um, some you might have to use the uh, metal blade. Just check with your manufacturer's instructions. But I think the Breville did a great job. Once again, it is still my favorite food processor. And it made me some bread. So I hope you like this video and you try this recipe. I'll put a link down in the description. AmyLearnsToCook.com. That's where the recipe will, will be for this food processor white bread. Also, join our journey to become better cooks by hitting that subscribe button below and the bell so you get notified of our uploads. You can catch me out on social media. If you want to chat about using your food processor or bread, stand mixers, anything, come on out and join my Facebook group. Facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. You can come and chat with me. I'm on there all day long, right? You can also catch me on social media at Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. And on Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy. So we have some homemade bread right out of our food processor.